Hi, this is Culinary Creations. Today we're making hamburger stew with the Brevel Sous Chef food processor. This food processor is awesome. You can see that I've cut the top and the bottom off of a zucchini and I'm getting ready to use the dicing function. I've got the medium blade with, which comes with this food processor and you can see I put the pusher in and it just dices it uh, straight through. I love this function. It makes uniform zucchini that I can use for stir, stir fry or for a soup and the cleanup is super, super easy. As I'm getting ready to prep these, I just throw them in a container and then I move on to the next portion that is getting ready for my soup. In this case, I'm making yellow squash. While I'm making things with the pill and dice, if I'm making it for something like a soup, I don't clean it in between because of the fact that it is easy to throw it all in one pot and it saves time not to have to clean the dicing function. I may go ahead and save just a few of these yellow squash for something like a salad. However, in this case, you can see that I'm just going to dump it straight in and then move on to the next portion of my soup. The dicing function uh, comes with three different uh, dicing blade options. Two of them do not come with the food processor. One of them does, the 12 millimeter, and really depending on uh, what you're doing, all three are just great options. You can catch my Amazon link below and see the prices of those and click to buy. You can see here I'm getting ready to do red potatoes and I love this because if I was to dice these red potatoes up it would take a lot more time. However, I can just put them straight through this dicing uh, attachment in this food processor and it's going to dice them up very uniformly and much much more quickly than what I could do. Other things that I use these dicing functions for is carrots. I like to use it for onions. In fact here you can see that I'm getting ready to put a yellow onion through and you can see I've just gone straight after the potatoes. I didn't clean it in between because ultimately I'm going to put the potatoes and the onions into the same container and therefore it saves me time not to have to clean the dicing blade in between each time. You can see I can do all of these within a matter of minutes and then have them prepped and ready to go. Uh, when I'm getting out this food processor it's something that I like to do is prep meals for the rest of the week. I can make lettuce wraps, salad ingredients, stir fry, soup, and if I'm going to uh, prep vegetables, then I like to be able to prep them for multiple different dishes at the same time. You can see here I'm doing carrots. I'm going to just stand the carrots up. I find that they're just a little bit more uniform if I stand them up and fill them to where they're in a tight bundle. And that way I'm doing several of them at the same time versus just laying one or two flat. As I put them in there, I just have cut them off. If you don't cut them off enough, you're going to have trouble getting that plunger to go in. And if the plunger doesn't go in, it won't turn on the food processor. But you can see there I've got them in and I'm going to go ahead and push start and it just slides through. Again, I didn't spend the time to clean the onions in between because it's all going in the final product. There you can see my onions, my potatoes, zucchini, yellow squash, and carrots all ready for my soup. I love this because it is quick. Um, I've done these in about five minutes and now I'm going to get my soup ready. For my soup today I did not have any beef stock so I went ahead and got some beef bouillon cubes. I added them to water and then I've got four cups here I'm going to go ahead and add in. If you feel like that's too strong, you can go ahead and dilute it further uh, with water. It's really how much of that beef bouillon flavor you want. You can see I'm going to go ahead and add this to my pot. And then as I add it to my pot, I'm going to go ahead and start adding vegetables. The great thing about this vegetable stew is that you can make it really for whatever your tastes are. My family likes squash, we like red potatoes and carrots, so I've made it uh, with ingredients that we like. 
but if you don't like one of these ingredients, say you don't like zucchini, you can make it without the zucchini. I love this because it's a great summer recipe, a great fall recipe. It's great to do in winter. You can set it and forget it, and in about 30 minutes, you have a soup that is ready to go and has not taken a lot of prep because this food processor has done all the work for you. Honestly, when I got this food processor, it just changed my life in the kitchen. Uh, it pills potatoes. If you haven't seen it pill potatoes, you'll want to look at one of my videos that I'll be posting. You can see there I needed just a little bit more liquid. So rather than making more beef bouillon, I've just added some more water to this. And now I'm just going to go ahead and let it sit. For the meat, you can either add stew meat or you can add hamburger. In this case, I'm making it for my parents and my parents much prefer hamburger over the stew meat. So one of the things I like to do is to use a sill mill. We will sill mill several pounds of hamburger at one time. And then when we're making a meal that just needs a little bit of hamburger, uh, we can go ahead and defrost it in the microwave. And you can see there I've defrosted it and now I'm just getting ready to dump it in. Again, with this soup, one of the best things is, is that you can make it for your preference. In this case, I wanted a little bit more hamburger, so I went ahead and defrosted another pound of hamburger, which I'll add here in a little bit. And that way, uh, it had a little bit more meat to it, but you could make it vegetarian, you could make it with the stew meat, you could make it uh, without, uh, with the hamburger instead like I've done here and then you can just use salt and pepper to taste. As it's starting to get done I'm going to go ahead and add some diced tomatoes. The diced tomatoes come in several different uh, kinds. Be careful that you're not adding them with chilies or jalapenos. In this case I like to use the petite diced tomatoes. My family is not a huge tomato fan and you can see there I added a little bit more hamburger. Um, but they will eat tomatoes um, as long as they're not overpowering with their texture. So in this case, I went ahead and added some petite diced tomatoes, and now I'm adding a can of corn. Oftentimes when I'm doing soup, I like to add uh, frozen corn, but in this case, I only have the regular corn, so I added just a can of regular corn, and you can see now I'm just letting it steam after about 30 minutes, it is ready to go. For those of you have, who have parents like I do and you need to bring them uh, a meal occasionally, I'll go ahead and link the containers that I use for soup. Um, I get those from Amazon and they're quite handy. I can fill them up. I can take them to my neighbors. I can take them to my family and my parents and it works out quite well. So here's a picture of the soup. After about 30 minutes, very little prep. I'm able to set this, uh, let it cook, and then come back at a later date and have it done. So hopefully you've enjoyed this. Like and subscribe for future videos. Thank you so much.